Hello, my name is Dr. Tina Baker, and I would like to share the highlights of our manuscript exploring the immunomodulatory effects of type 1 interferon blockade with anufrilumab in SLE using transcriptomics and proteomic analysis of two phase three clinical trial datasets. Increased type 1 interferon pathway activity is a consistent immune feature in patients with moderate to severe systemic lupus erythrocytosis, or SLE. SLE immunopathogenesis is characterized by increased circulating levels of cell death debris caused by impaired clearance of apoptotic cells and the increased formation of neutrophil extracellular traps or nets. The subsequent buildup of and increased sensitivity to self antigens leads to an increase in type 1 interferon pathway activation and promotes the formation of immune complexes, which together cause an inflammatory response that contribute to tissue damage. These impaired immunological processes are reflected in the dysregulation of a wide range of immune cell types, including adaptive immune cells such as B and T cells and innate immune cells such as monocytes, macrophages and dendritic cells. The key role of type 1 interferon in lupus pathogenesis led to the development of alifrilumab, a monoclonal antibody that blocks type 1 interferon signaling by targeting the type 1 interferon alpha receptor subunit 1. Anifrilumab is approved in several countries for the treatment of adult patients with moderate to severe FLE despite standard therapies and based on results from randomized placebo control phase 3, TULIP 1 and TULIP 2 trials. In this study, transcriptomic and proteomic analysis was used to explore the downstream immunomodulatory consequences of type 1 interferon blockade with anifrilumab using data from the TULIP trials. The TULIP-1 and TULIP-2 clinical trials were 52-week studies that enrolled patients with moderate to severe SLE despite standard therapy. Patients were randomized to receive intravenous anifrilumab or placebo every four weeks. Only data from the 300 milligram approved dose and placebo groups were used in the analysis described here. 502 patients comprised the transcriptomic data set and 256 patients comprise the proteomic data set. With transcriptomic analysis, whole blood was collected at baseline week 24 and week 52, and over 18,000 genes were analyzed using genome-wide RNA sequencing. Gene set enrichment analysis was then performed using the R package cluster profiler against metabase pathways and a fixed repertoire of blood transcription modules previously developed to support interpretation of blood transcriptomic data. For proteomic analysis, plasma was collected at baseline week 12 and week 52, and 184 plasma proteins were analyzed using OLINK and SAMOA panels. Using differential gene expression analysis, compared with the placebo, anifrilumab modulated over 2,000 genes by week 24, with overwrapping results seen at week 52. As expected, Type 1 interferon inducible genes were among those most significantly downregulated by anifrilumab versus placebo. Genes downstream of type 2 interferon and combined type 1 and 2 interferon were also downregulated, as were several other genes involved in innate and adaptive immune responses. Gene set enrichment analysis on the pooled TULIP data revealed that the top 25 pathways from the MetaBase database that are significantly downregulated or upregulated by anifrilumab compared to placebo at week 52. As expected, several intracellular signaling pathways downstream of interferon alpha and beta were suppressed. Downregulated pathways also included multiple pathways associated with interferon gamma, um, including interferon gamma induction of apoptosis, as well as an atosis associated pathway. Two pathways associated with protein synthesis were upregulated. Additional gene set enrichment analysis using a fixed repertoire of blood transcriptome modules revealed several modules that were impacted by anifrilumab versus placebo at week 52 that play a role in both innate and adaptive immunity. Downmodulated modules include those associated with interferon activity, antigen presentation, plasma cells, neutrophils, and monocytes. Modules that were significantly upregulated include those associated with lymphocytes and T cells. Lymphocyte counts 
from complete blood count increased rapidly and consistently from baseline to week eight and remained stable until week 52 with anifrolumab but not with placebo. A comparison of the protein expression in 256 patients from the TULIP-1 trial showed that 41 of the 169 tested proteins had significantly different one-year trajectories between patients who received anifrolumab versus placebo. 34 proteins were down-modulated, including interferon lambda, interferon gamma-induced chemokines such as CXCL10, CXCL16, chemokines known to recruit monocytes such as CCL2 and CCL8, cytokines and chemokines with B and T cell regulatory functions such as BAF and TNF, and T cell regulatory molecules, including galactic 9 and LAG3. Seven proteins were significantly upmodulated, including trail R3, which is a decoy receptor associated with inhibition of apoptosis. This study provides key insights into the downstream consequences of type 1 interferon blockade with anifrolumab that may lead to the effects of the immune processes that play key roles in lupus pathogenesis, including. SALDEF, innate immunity, and adaptive immunity. These include suppression of genes and pathways regulated by type 2 interferon, decreased levels of type 3 interferon protein, downregulation of pathways associated with mitosis and apoptosis, upregulation of genes and proteins associated with the inhibition of apoptosis, such as trail R3, Reversal of immune cell imbalances, including sustained increases in lymphocyte counts. Down modulation of tissue recruiting chemokines such as CX, CL10, and other chemokines known to recruit monocytes such as CCL2. Down modulation of molecules with key roles in B and T cell activation or recruitment, including BAF, CXCL13, LAG3, Galactin 9 and CD38. Taken together, these findings provide valuable insights into the immunomodulatory mechanisms underpinning type 1 interferon blockade with anifilumab treatment. Thank you for your interest.